as a result of, in the theft of not only one gavel, not only two gavels, but even a third gavel that was donated to me by Tom Brown this morning. So we've got three gavels stolen. <laughs> and my bell! Where's my bell? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Let Congress take care of it. <laughs> Instead of the bell being on my podium this morning, there was a note to my father. It said, Mr. Rain. <laughs> but I opened it up and it's to me. And it says, you just don't get it. Your bell ringing is obnoxious. <laughs> and I'll read, because I've been ordered to. We thought you might get the hint when the first gavel went missing. <laughs> Another gavel took its place. That went missing. And lo and behold, you had a third one. When the third one went missing, you felt the need to beat the bell so hard you broke a wooden hanger in half. <laughs> so the bell had to go too. <laughs> These items are being held for ransom. <laughs> As is a fourth gavel owned by Tommy Brown, that's very important to him until the following demands are met. <laughs> Read this ransom note aloud to the general membership. Admit to the membership that you have a bell ringing problem. <laughs> you must agree to only two strikes of the bell at the start and end of each meeting. You must agree that for every strike of the bell beyond two strikes, you pay $1 per strike every single week. <laughs> Your obnoxious problem will add up quickly. <laughs> if you cannot get your problem under control, the equipment will disappear until your term as president. <laughs> minutes of my bell's been missing. <laughs> I think maybe I do have a problem. Oh. <laughs> Except it is the first step. It started, it started out innocently. I had this bell, I had this gavel. I rang it once. It felt so good. It sounded so good. I just had to keep ringing it, ring it, ring it, louder and louder. <laughs> And it became somewhat of an addiction. <laughs> so, it's okay. I'm going to seek help. <laughs> <laughs> but in order to start the meeting, I, I need my bell back. See, this is what happens. This is what happens when you negotiate with terrorists. You concede to all the conditions, and then you don't get it anyway. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two strikes. Two? Yeah. We have members who have agreed to be strike counters. <laughs> so they will be counting and it will be one dollar over every option, single one. Oh no! Look at all the Tim! Let's take it out. He's an official officer. And here at Longwood. Is it fun? Yes it is! Screw you guys! <laughs> Ten bucks! Ten bucks! <laughs>